facing issues enabling JIT? And want to enable JIT on a go without a computer on your iPhone or iPad? Introducing JIT Streamer, thanks to developer Jackson Cox Sun, lets you enable JIT from anywhere in the world without any computer. You only need a computer just once for initial setup, and after that, you can enable JIT wirelessly using a simple shortcut, so keep watching this video for an in depth tutorial. First off, we need to have SideStore for this to work. So, visit the official website of SideStore, link will be in description. Click on Get Started option, and for this video, I will show the Windows method. So you must download AltServer SideStore IPA file Jitterbug pair. Also you must download the iTunes and iCloud from the link provided. Do not use Microsoft Store's version of iTunes or iCloud. I will not go in details on how to sideload SideStore, as I have already made an in-depth video tutorial on the same. So click on the i button or find the link in the description. So once you have sideloaded SideStore in your iOS device, launch the app once and it will ask for a pairing file. This pairing file will be used in SideStore and also in enabling JIT, so watch carefully on how to get the pairing file. First you will need a computer and a cable, but this is just for once, after the setup, you never require a computer ever for both SideStore and JIT. On your computer, launch the file manager and navigate to the location where you have downloaded all those files from the SideStore website. You will find Jitterbug pair zip file. Just right click on it and extract the zip file. And inside the extracted folder, you will find the Jitterbug pair exe file. Before running the exe file, make sure your iOS device is connected to the computer using a cable. Then just double click on the file to run it. If you get a pop-up like this, just click on more info, and then click on run anyway. The moment you run it, you will see a pop-up like this on your iOS device, make sure to tow on the trust option. And then again run the exe file, and you will see the pairing file auto-generated, if not, just repeat the method. Now send this pairing file to your iOS device. The easiest method is by emailing the file to my iOS device. You can send which is more convenient for you. As you can see, I have received the pairing file via email. Now just download the file and save the file anywhere in the files app. Now launch the SideStore app, tap on OK. And now just select the pairing file. Next, go to settings and sign in with your Apple ID and password. If you see an error, something like this, don't worry, just go back and scroll down and tap on Anaset servers and just select a different server out of so many options. Then try to log in again with your Apple ID and password. And as you can see, I have successfully logged in. Now to remove dependencies on computer forever, we need an app called WireGuard. Launch App Store and look for WireGuard app and download the same. Now once installed, just launch the WireGuard app. Here, we require configuration file. So to get one, visit the official website of SideStore and navigate to the step 4 as shown on the video. Download the WireGuard config file. Now import the same in the WireGuard app. Tap on the plus icon, next, tap on create from file or archive option and select the WireGuard config which is named SideStore. Just tap on allow and make the initial VPN configuration. You will see that on and off switch is created. Keep in mind that you need to enable SideStore WireGuard switch only when refreshing SideStore and other apps, and also when sideloading or updating apps. Next, let's learn how to enable JIT. Visit this website, link will be in description, here you will need that same pairing file, which was used in SideStore. So, under upload the pairing file, just navigate to the files app, select, and upload the pairing file, the same pairing file which was used in SideStore setup. The moment you upload it, you will get this download pop-up, just download the JITStreamer config file into your device. Next, download this shortcut as well, so make sure to download the shortcut app from the App Store first. So once you have downloaded the shortcut app and added this shortcut into the app, by just tapping on this add shortcut button in blue. Finally go back and import the JITStreamer configuration file into the WireGuard app. Tap on the plus icon and then create from file or archive, tap on the JITStreamer config file to import it. 
Your wire guard should now look something like this, with two switches, one for side store, and the other for JIT streamer. For demonstration, I will use Dolphin app, which requires JIT to work. So usually when you try to play a game without JIT, you will see something like this, where you cannot continue without JIT. So to enable JIT to a target app, just go back and launch the WireGuard app and enable JIT Streamer. Next, launch the shortcut app and tap on the JIT Streamer shortcut, which was added a while ago. Tap on Allow whenever you see this pop-up. The first timer when you run this shortcut, it will first mount your device. So allow some time for the process. Once it reaches 100% and the mount use complete, just press on Done. Now, again run the shortcut, and then tap on OK option, as shown on the video. Next, you will see a list of apps, just tap on the target app, you wish to enable JIT, in my case, it's the Dolphin app, now just tap on Always Allow. You will see, your position in a queue. Once it reaches zero, just tap on OK, and the target app will launch successfully. Now when you run, the game, or program, which requires JIT, it will successfully run, like you see here. I am able to run Resident Evil successfully in my iOS device. Having JIT ensures that apps or games run to their maximum capacity and without any lag or stutters. You will not face any frame drops as well. Now if you still cannot manage a computer once and still want to play GameCube and Wii games without JIT, watch my next video.